Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I just realized I made the same face that I did at the beginning of the last part, but whatever, whatever. Uh, I don't, well, maybe in real life it is, but in, in game, you gotta get it close if you want to get the scores low. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Now I will chat with you. Actually, maybe I should have chatted with the other peeps first. Hmm. 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 Well. 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 Hmm. Well, I'm here now. <laughs> See, you gotta, gotta get the ball close for that one putt. Gotta get those up and downs. Even, well, on your approach shots, like from far away on the green, if you just want to keep the birdies rolling in. See, this is the shot that I tend to prefer, that I was talking about in the last part. See, the green's rolling away from me. Well, rolling away from him. And <laughs> the thing about it is that if you don't stop your ball, you are going to run far past the hole, and you're going to have an awkward putt, like whether it's into the breaks past the hole, or if you just get too far and it's just too long to make the putt consistently. So it's just a thing of that you got to sort of work on this shot probably more than any other shot. And I think it's easier to control than the running approach, too. Because, you, yeah, you have the power of backspin to just kind of stick it in place where the landing spot was. Uh, well, or at least near where the landing spot was. You know, It depends on where the, the break of the green is and stuff like that. Um, yeah, the super backspin shot is a thing that I mentioned earlier with the hit BA. But that, that's a little bit... it's a little bit out of control. Uh, no, I'd actually like to chat with the other peeps uh, before I uh, <laughs> before I start this, just to see their dialogue here. Okay, they're both gonna talk at the same time. That'll save me some time. Mm. And sure enough, the pros around here do have sunglasses, by the way. <laughs> Maybe they aren't the, the super pros. Oh, relax there, pro man. Relax there, pro man. See? Uh, yeah, that, that's what I was saying there. <laughs> Although there is situation... Oh, you're actually going to... Are you going to repeat it again, just out of curiosity? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, the thing about it is that, that it would be helpful to know both shots, depending on the situation. Like, there, if there's a lot of slope around the hole, the running approach shot would probably be the better choice, because it's more predictable. Because the, when you're landing the ball high and soft, on a slope, it doesn't really go all that soft because the ball just bounces heavily against whatever strong amount of slope there is over there. So it is helpful to have them both in your repertoire, I guess, but generally the shot of choice will be the high shot, I think. At least that 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 is what I think you would prefer for getting close to the pin. And don't worry about missing the green or anything like that when you're trying to get into a p tight pin location because if you end up being short on, say, a running approach shot, the, the, the outcome is going to be about the same as if you miss the green in that it's most likely going to be a two putt rather than a chip on and a one putt. So anyway, let's move on here with the, uh, with the lesson here again. In fact, I, I might end up just, uh, yeah, just kind of clicking through here. <laughs> Because we've seen this before. Yeah, I really should have chatted with the other two first, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'll, I'll watch for the guys with the sunglasses in the future. <laughs> so you don't have the situation again. So yeah, a little bit of backspin just keeps it under control. And you're going to have to adjust this depending on how your character is set up. But you'll be able to get the hang of it uh, once you get the BB backspin thing going on here. Alright, let's give it a shot now. Let's complete this challenge. Yes, yes, yes. I notice that my amount of spin here is probably about to here will be good. And then I go... Oh, I hit that a little short, but well, we'll see how it turns out because I think the slope is going to push it forward anyway. Yeah, it, it, it... Wow, that really cut past that quick. <laughs> I mean, my ball really stopped so fast. It didn't really even show the result all that well. But uh, I'll just give him to her. I'm just kind of alternating between the characters now. Uh, well, uh, I would say good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you could pull it off too if you just do that BB thing. 
Thank you, thank you. Alright, here's the main tests. Part 2 of the challenge. I'll plop it and stop it. <laughs> now, you wouldn't really be able to do this sort of thing in real life, because, well, the ball just doesn't stick in the rough that well. <laughs> so, it's a thing of that you're gonna have to, you know, play for some run, but in-game, you can pull it off. <laughs> two for two, I hit that a little bit long, but that is okay. It turned out well. You know, I should probably show a super backspin shot too. Oh no no no! <laughs> like I hit the pin, but if I if I do that and I'm not anticipating it, that can make me backspin away from the hole. That's why I said no 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 no, but it still worked out, so I'm okay with that. Uh, okay, I'll show you the super backspin here. You want to go past the hole and then do B A. So you go like that, then B A, and just watch what will happen. You'll backspin it back into the target area. Thusly, and it's it's so hard to control though that it's not really my preferred shot. I'd prefer just regular backspin, but it is helpful if you're trying to back it into a spot. Like I'm gonna, I'll do it one more time here. Uh, oh wait, why did I do BB? I should. Mm, I just kind of reacted improperly there, and yeah, it doesn't really matter all that much. I'm gonna pass this challenge anyway. It's just a thing of I'm trying to show you stuff here as long as I am, um, as long as I'm messing around here. So, okay, A, B, B, A. There we go. Slide my thumb from the B to the A. And here it comes, back into the circle. See, I just kind of like prefer stopping the ball on a dime rather than pulling it back so much. So, yeah, that's that's what I prefer. You can do your own thing, though. It all depends on what you like to do, because as I said, golf is a very results-based game, so it doesn't matter how it looks as long as you get the results that you're going for. And since this is the kind of shot that I prefer, this is going to give me the best results. So yeah, I'll be I'll just be doing the regular backspin right next to the hole all day long here. Uh, the wind is with me here, so that'll actually make this a little tougher. Because when the wind is with you, it makes your shot go a little further, a little bit lower, and yeah, see how it made it run out a little bit more there, so I had to anticipate that. It's all about practice, though, for getting the feel of said wind and whatnot. And the wind changes every shot, uh, miraculously. I don't know how that works, but... <laughs> and there we go, 9 out of 10. I would have got 10 out of 10 if I wouldn't have just messed around on that, you know, one shot to show you the super backspin. But yeah, alright, she's gonna get a level up. And, 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 and... Mm, I'll even out my shot so it's less of a fade and make it straight. Fade is left to right, draw is right to left, as I said, for a right-hander. It's opposite for a left-hander. <laughs> there we go, another star course is unlocked for something that I won't be showing until way, way later on, and after I unlock all those things, so yeah. <laughs> uh, well... Uh, <laughs> I didn't really drop it in the hole, but I did drop it right next to the hole, but <laughs> anyway, we're done here. Now, they were saying not to go over to Klepto territory over here. Well, uh, well, uh, well, mm, maybe I should. You know, this, this thread over here, maybe, I mean, let's just see what's going on over here. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. What's going on there? What is this? It's got a Koopa shell! Well, I can't let that happen. So I'm gonna go and try and hit that Koopa shell right out of its hands. Whoa! Take that, Klepto! Uh, did I... Did I miss? Certainly didn't look like I missed. Uh, mm, I apparently missed. <laughs> but yeah, basically what I'm trying to do here is hit that stinker. Uh, I want to give it a little loft here. And remember, you got to hold down and I give it. Can you give it a little more loft? Oh yeah, can I do this one with my current height? Maybe I. Oh shoot! I was holding down right because of the stupid Xbox 360 D-pad. But yeah, I'm not sure if I can do this right now with my current, my current height and and power level. <laughs> because power level would actually matter more than the the height than anything. Uh, I'll try three wood. Maybe that'll 
with a little... Oh, why did I do auto again? I don't know why I'm doing that. Maybe I've been playing too much regular Mario Golf lately. Oh, oh! Oh! Oh, no, didn't work. <laughs> Uh, is there any other better spot to hit from to give him a whack? Hmm. Hmm. Well, it appears that there's something in trouble inside that shell, so I can't leave it be. But I'm not sure if I can do this right now because of this. Maybe I... C mm. No, that's just not the right trajectory. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I might have to save this for later, actually. Give myself a level up in the height and or power because you know when I have the power I can use a shorter claw which will automatically give me the height. So yeah, I guess I'll have to leave that for later and I'll flip flop over back. Uh, 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 oh wait, that's right. I, I want to save this for later. Why did I go over to there? <laughs> but yeah, alas, alas, the klepto challenge will have to wait. Instead, I will go out over to the overworld and do a thing called the Go-Go Gates Challenge. There's uh, greens up to prepare temporary lap limits, stick shot Sam! <laughs> uh, where's the Go-Go Gates? I forgot where that is. Next Gen Epoch Golf Mini Park. No, no, no. Where is my overworld challenge here? It is... Wait, no, that's the... No, it's the Evaluation Clinic. I know it's open now! <laughs> the cuckoo close course is closed. Alas, alas. <sighs> oh, what? Hold on a sec. Is it open? I just want to see. Side games over at the field. Yeah, Go Go Gates Forest 1. And Lucky Country 1 is open. Yeah, that Lucky Country 1 is the club slots here. So maybe I should go for that. Although it's much... Oh, here's the Gogo -Go Gates. Why, why did I think they was over there? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, see these Gogo -Go Gates? Well, you gotta hit balls through them. It's impossible to play a relaxed round of scores with these Waka rules. I need normal rules. Mm, well... Well, they are actually gonna be playing on this, the courses we've seen, well, we can play in regular modes, but uh, the thing about this is that there's gonna be some special rules set up on them. So we gotta get the ball through the gates and go for par. I should say all the gates and go through par because there can be multiple gates. And the first one open to us is, of course, the Marion course, which has got that little sign by it. Yeah, I remember this place. It's just <laughs> so th see, there's a gate. We gotta hit our ball through that, and when it's sh when it's shining and sparkling like that, it's uh, active, and you're actually hitting through it. When you're outside, it's not, so that's your indicator there. And you gotta watch for the wind, because the wind will push you away from the gate and whatnot. But yeah, the first one, pretty dang easy, so that's basically why I'm coming down here, despite my low character stats. Sad that I couldn't deal with the klepto, though. So sad. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, this is one of those ones that I kind of want to run at this point because I, it's got a lot of slope and I don't have all that much height to my shot. So, here we go. Let's go for a close shot. I mean, I'll, I'll two-putt this no matter what. But, you know, it's just better to go for the one-putt just to play it safe. And there we go. And I don't think I have to move the cursor at all. There we go. <laughs> one under par, actually. But it's not over yet. Oh, no, you got to do multiple ones of these in a row. And it looks like I'm aiming right through the gates at the very beginning, so I'll just pretend this is a normal shot, I guess. <laughs> I'm hitting forward here, so it's going to run out a bit. That's why I put backspin on. And beautiful. <laughs> alright, alright. Should be a one putt. And complete. Oh boy, we got a double gate here. So this one's more about positioning than anything. I'm gonna try and get myself so that I can hit, hit straight up through those at a straight line. So I'm gonna pop my ball right down about there and hope for the best. <laughs> if it doesn't work out, it should still be fine because this is a par 5. But yeah, I think that's gonna be good positioning right there. Uh, don't worry too much about where the ball lands uh, now because, well, I mean, I guess I can manipulate it. But the thing about it is that you wanna get through the gates more than anything. Because that is the thing that's preventing you from completing any given course. So, you, you can recover if you're in a bunker, or if you're in rough, or whatever. 
but well unless you're like behind the tree or something but you know it's, it's pretty pretty self-explanatory uh, bunker shots well they play like any other shot only the the power gauge see how it's reduced uh, with that arrow at the bottom left of the gauge there like I can't go out of full power that's basically the difference between a bunker shot and a fairway shot or a tee shot or something like that I'm just not gonna put any backspin on this at all it'll be just fine as it is I think yeah, oh, it ran out. Eh, hmm. Guess the trajectory wasn't high enough, but that should be okay. I'll hit a little bit less because it's downhill, and we're in. <laughs> Challenge complete! Yeah, I'll give you the experience points, Neil. Um, see the. It's kind of weird, the height goes up as your power goes up, but you can choose to lower your power in a level, I mean lower your height in a uh, level up, so, I, so I'm just going to keep letting my height go higher for that klepto challenge in the future. Uh, for now I think I'm going to go, I'm not too concerned about spin or anything like that, I'm going to go for the drive, there we go, and sure enough another star jigger has been opened. <laughs> There we go. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, you can you could do more, but not right now. Not right now. I'm gonna save that for a little later because it's gonna start going into the Palms course, and the Dunes course, and the Lynx course. So I'm gonna do those when I get to the actual courses because it's it's kind of easier to do that once you actually know the course. Because you know you get the feel for the greens and and the slopes and stuff like that. So for now, I'm gonna head back over to the Marion place here and get ourselves set up for doubles. Yeah, I kind of do. I, I, I would like some doubles play, please. Yeah, baby. And the doubles play, however, is something that I'm gonna be starting in the next part. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy. And I will see you in the next parts.